Yes, well, 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 well. Up your wavy. Up your gravy. I make music, I make music, I make music, I make music. I make music, I make music. I'm doing a song a day challenge where the goal is to drop a song a day until the end of the year. The goal is to drop a song a day until the end of the year. I drop seven songs every Friday. Every Friday, seven songs. So link in the description if you want to check that out. Link in the description if you want to check that out. I really appreciate if you do. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I'm on day 180 something. So yeah, let me know what you think, man, in the comments. Um, what else do I need to plug? I think that's it. Yeah, man, I was thinking about gratitude. Today in church, we discussed uh, gratitude, the importance of gratitude, how it affects your your mental health. When you just when you're just a grateful person, instead of uh, being entitled to everything, entitlement tends to to make people bitter and resentful. Whereas when you have a when you when you when you operate in this world with the attitude that. world with the attitude that the world owes you nothing and that you should be grateful for whatever you get whatever you get from God whatever you get from the people around you just be grateful um, your life will be so much better because then you're not constantly keeping stock of what you don't have but instead you're keeping stock of what you do have you're counting things you have and you're praising God for it. For example, me, I often um, thank God for my mother. The deep fear that used to like really seize me was uh, the fear of losing my mom. You know, from time to time you get that fear. But what I've started doing now is saying like, listen, life is short, man, and your time is limited. Do you want to spend the time with your mom? Like stressing about losing her, or do you want to like enjoy your time with her? Whatever time you've been given with her, just thank God that He's given you that time. So what I what I do now is I thank God for my mom. She's so cute, and she's such a kind woman. She's so kind; it's unbelievable, and she's so strong. She's this sweet, strong, cute woman. She's so generous and just sacrificed so much for me. She loves me. And she's so kind to me. And it's, it's indescribable, like, the love she has for me, right? And I feel it. And I'm so grateful for it. And every day I just thank God for that, right? That I've experienced that in my life. And um, when I see her, and I see her smile, I see her laugh, and I see her crack jokes. Like, sometimes I just have moments where I'm like... I'm like, wow, this is great, man. Like, I'm really grateful for this. You know, like, I am. I'm so grateful. And, yeah, man, you know, just praise God for that. And anything in my life that I have, I have a roof over my head in a safe neighborhood. I don't have to worry about crime. I can go on walks. I can drive wherever I want. I can... I'm, I'm, I, I order food all the time. I got Uber Eats drivers coming to my door all the damn time. I don't have to stress about food. I can eat basically what I want. And life is. I'm very privileged, guys. I'm very, very privileged. It would be crazy for me to be depressed. Like, look, there's clinical depression, which is its own thing, and we acknowledge that and we we pray for those people and we hope that they get better. That's that's not really their fault right when it's clinical and when so when it's it's all about an imbalance of uh, chemicals there was a guy in our school he was the head boy paused his kid seemed happy found out later on that he actually dealt with serious clinical depression and it seems to come out of nowhere it just hit him like a ton of bricks became very suicidal and, and all that sort of stuff so you know some people just get it 
and it's not their fault. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the sort of depression that is a result of certain perspectives you have that you can actually work on and fix. So for me, like there's there's no real reason for me to be depressed. My life is good. Could it be better? Of course. I need to find love. I need to to, to build more wealth. I, I want to travel more. I want this. I want that. But guys, my life is good right now, man. Like right now, live in the moment, man. Live in the moment. Um, be present and and take stock of all the things that you have. Thank God for it, like, thank, thank the Lord, pray and just be like, thank you God for all the good things in my life. And you know what happens? People that are grateful and positive, they tend to, to attract good things toward themselves, good people, good energy. They tend to be given gifts and people just like those people more versus people who are negative all the time. Like when you're just negative, my life is so hard and... I hate this about this and yada 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 and you're constantly complaining and you know like I think what that does is it pushes things away that could have you could have actually attracted to you a positive outlook on life and you might r deprive yourself of certain relationships certain opportunities because people can tell I don't want to be around that you know what I'm saying whereas when you're just more positive naturally just attract good things and let's say you don't attract good things right which i don't i don't think that's the case but let's say you don't you, you still have good things in your life so you're just going to be happier because you're aware of what's good it's called positivity bias because when you're constantly being grateful when you're constantly practicing gratitude what happens in your mind is it starts to recognize positive information more so than negative information. So you're just a person that tends to see the good even in, um, even amongst the most ugly situations. So you're just constantly... Like, like you're, you're in a good mind space, you know? You have a sober perspective on things. So even when life gets tough, you can still push through because you're not crippled by this, the burden of, of, of pessimism. Because all pessimism really is, right? All nihilism really is, is an excuse to give up, to not try, to not strive for better. That's all it is. It's to say, what's the point in trying? Everything's going to hell anyway. Life is meaningless. This da 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 da. People like that, not good people to be around because they'll drag you down with them. You want to be around someone that's constantly looking for solutions, someone that believes in a better, in a better life, that believes in doing more, being more. They just strive for more. You want to be around those sort of people because they, they, they make you feel good and they make you want to be better. You know what I'm saying? And you can be that person. It doesn't mean you're going to be this. It's not about being nice all the time and smiling. Hey, hey, everyone. It's not about being that. It's more so just having a good outlook on life where you're at peace, you're content with what you have, you're constantly giving thanks, and just internally, you're just in a good space, mentally, you're in a good space. And people can feel that when they're around you, they like being around you. Because they get good vibes from you, you know? It doesn't mean being this rain... Like, you're just beaming with rainbow light and... It's just like, oh my god, ah. And flowers sprout wherever you walk. That's not what it's about. It's just about being sober and... And just pleased with life. Like, you're just happy to be here. 
So I'm trying to be more of that. You're not going to be perfect. There's going to be things that piss you off. There's going to be some time. Sometimes you're going to be ungrateful. But generally, it's good to be um, to have a general disposition of, of gratitude where you're constantly just giving thanks. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. So if you find yourself grumbling all the time, find yourself just complaining all the time, watch out. You can lose all the things you're not appreciating. What did it say? You don't know what you have until it's gone. So if you're someone that disregards all the good things in their life, watch out, man. You don't want to lose that. y'all to be uh, more positive because a lot of people my age just very negative man very negative and i understand like you know in the, the age of the internet it's it's hard to make friends it's like that people are mean and you might be going through this or going through that i understand like th things can be difficult sometimes but practice gratitude and you'll see how things get better for you mentally spiritually You'll see. You'll start to feel better when you just learn to give thanks more often. Try it out, man. And tell me I'm lying. I think you'd be pleasantly surprised to find out that is what I'm saying is actually true. Okay. That's my message, man. That's my message. I think I'm That'll be it for now. Thanks for watching. You know I like to pray at the end of my videos just in part blessing and protection and peace and all that good stuff, okay? Dear God, thank you for this individual. Thank you uh, for making them whole and unique. Thank you that you're blessing them, that you're guiding them, that you're protecting them. Thank you that you're bestowing peace upon them, peace upon them, peace, peace. Peace, 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 peace upon them so that they live good, productive lives where they're of service to others and people like them and that they're, they're fulfilled, you know? They wake up every morning looking forward to their day, looking forward to who they have in their life, what the, who they're going to see. Thank you that the people in their life are good people, that, that love them and take care of them, that you're introducing good people that love them and take care of them. Um, that they're on a good path, a path toward righteousness, a path toward love, light, laughter, just good things, more good things, more good things, Lord, just more good in their life. In your mighty name, I up oh, good health, long life, and happiness, Lord God, for them, their friends, their family. In your mighty name, I pray. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Um. There's this trick I want to try, like, it's these, these sticky, it's like labels, but what is, I don't know what this is. I've been meaning to try it, I'll try it in another video though. Anyway.